What's going on guys? Welcome back to MIA Luxury Cars and these are the most expensive cars of soccer players. Aubameyang You can't bring up spending millions without mentioning Aubameyang. Not only were his cars are expensive, they were controversial too. See, in his 14 years of pro football, he's racked up over $80 million, and I swear this man spent every cent on his whips. Literally got solid gold Lamborghinis, an RA Range Rover, and a Porsche. But nothing compares to his $2 million masterpiece, looking like his living GTA in real life. This LaFerrari comes with a V12 engine, has a top speed of 220 miles per hour, and can go 0 to 124 faster, and you can watch TikTok. The paint job was really crispy, but his fans, they were pissed. It's pretty known in the car community to keep a LaFerrari, the traditional red. So when Obama Young took to Instagram and posted his pearlescent chrome, he got his ass roasted. People were saying things like, I didn't think ruining a LaFerrari Ferrari was possible, and that it looked like a little kid picked his paint job. But Obama Young responded exactly how you'd expect him, saying, Hate me or love me, we don't give a fuck. And he made sure to surprise his haters with something special. He got his $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan wrapped the exact same way. Then he let all the trolls know that to live like him, they'd need a cheat code. Neymar he has cars that literally nobody else in the entire world can buy. Yeah, see, he makes around a hundred million dollars every single year and there's nothing he loves blowing a bag on more than his car collection. But what's crazy is Neymar, so known for his whips, can't even drive down the street without a crowd running after him. Just look at this. People are literally about to get run over just to take pictures of him. Ridiculous. So you'd think Neymar would cop a car that would blend in or just Uber everywhere, right? Well, back in 2019, right after he signed a $200 million deal, he decided all this Ferraris, Bugattis, they just weren't flashy or expensive enough. He wanted something that nobody could buy and that's when he found a four and a half million dollar supercar he couldn't live without. This thing looks like a damn spaceship. This Lamborghini Veneno has a V12 engine that can go 221 miles per hour and there's only 5 of this in the entire world. So yes, I'm sure he won't get recognized driving this down the street. But you want to know what's crazier than that? It's not even the fastest car he owns. Later that year, Neymar decided it was necessary to spend a million more. Because uh, $4 million on a single car, it didn't dent his bank account enough. So he had to level up. Are you seeing this? It looks like it might transform and fly away. His Lycan Hypersport came with a twin-turbo F6 engine, 780 horsepower, and can go 245 miles per hour. There's a reason they put this car in the Fast and Furious. Now, $8 million on two cars? Things don't get crazier than that. Lionel Messi Messi's cars cost him $50 million, and one of his cars is literally illegal. See, Messi's been known for his Audis, but in 2015, he decided to spend $2 million to celebrate and with that, he bought one of the rarest cars in the world. Now, I don't know what it is about these soccer players, man, but I feel like they played a little too much need for speed growing up. They're getting cars straight out of video games. Messi's Pagani Roadster has a V12 engine, 6-speed transmission, and can go 208 miles per hour. That's really fast enough for a plane to take off. As happy as Messi was, he bought it. As soon as he drove it off, the lot cops pulled him over. They also told him his car is so dangerous, it's not even allowed on the road. Yes, I just hope he can get his money back 
Otherwise, he spent $2 million for nothing. But do the math, he still got $48 million of whips in his garage, and more than half of that was a single car. Back in 2016, Mesa got an anonymous tip that the owner of his dream car was finally selling it. So he dropped anything, raced to his private jet, and flew to the car auction in Paris. But there was a huge problem. Cristiano Rolando. Before Messi's plane landed, Rolando offered millions to the dealer to buy the car himself. Just so we could pull up to El Clasico in Messi's dream car. I guess the rivalry on the field just wasn't enough. But the auction house knew Messi was on his way and wanted to give him a shot at making a better offer. So when Messi showed up, the two bottled it out with their bids and things got pretty heated. Neither of them was trying to leave without the scar, but eventually the price got a little out of Rolando's budget and for the first time in his career, he accepted defeat. That day, Messi became a champion again, but this time the trophy cost him $33 million. All that for a 1957 Ferrari Spider. Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo didn't let the defeat get to him. After all, he's already got over $22 million in cars. I'm talking he's got so many, he literally lost count. What's crazy is half of the money he spent on his Bugatti collection. Back in the day, people collected baseball cards. But this dude collects million-dollar cars and forgets about them. In 2016, he spent $2 million to go to 253 miles an hour in this all-black Bugatti Veyron. And just a year later, he spent another $3 million on a silver and black Bugatti Sharon. This time with customized CRV headdress on the seats, his logo on the left-hand ride, and Ronaldo got so much attention for buying this. The company wanted him to become the face of their brand. Now with Ronaldo already copying two Bugatti, is it really a surprise that in 2020 when Bugatti released their rarest cars yet, Ronaldo was first in line? He decided there was no way he could live with himself and he didn't spend $12 million on this. With his all-white Bugatti Centuries came with an 8-liter W16 engine that can go 236 miles per hour. Not to mention there's only 10 of this car in the entire world. Even though Ronaldo spent $17 million just on Bugattis, he spent even more millions on cars for a rainy day. Back in 2019, after winning the Serie A championship, Ronaldo wanted to spend some millions to celebrate. And when? He spent over $900,000 on a limited edition McLaren Senna. It came with a twin-turbo V8 engine and was designed to look like a shark. So just like Ronaldo always does, is as soon as he bought it, he had to flex it to his 200 million followers on Instagram. What's crazy is Ronaldo only meant to flex the McLaren. He didn't even realize that two of his $400,000 cars, Rolls Royce would pop up in the frame. Ronaldo is also a big fan of those cars as well. He's been spotted in an all-white Rolls-Royce Cullinan and another all-white Phantom. He's not always in cars that can go 5 times the speed limit. But speaking of cars that go over 200 miles an hour, what would a car collection be without a couple Lamborghinis? As you could have guessed, those are some of Rolando's favorites. He spent over $300,000 twice on Lamborghini Aventadors, one of all white and another all black. But this car might be something he regrets. This dude's crash Lamborghini Paganis, it's costing him millions. But worst of all, one accident nearly ended his career. Glad Ronaldo turned out okay, but this could have been a way more devastating situation. David Beckham 
He was an all-time great player, so it's no surprise he had a garage filled with Ferraris, Lambos, Porches, and McLaurins. But because of a speeding incident in 2018, Beckham failed to not change his ways, but to change the world. Beckham was caught whipping on a Bentley 5940, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal. This wasn't his first incident, so when police officers caught him for the first time, they didn't take the situation lightly. I mean, they literally wanted to take away his license for good. But Beckham's lawyer, Nick Freeman, wasn't going to let that happen under one condition. He wanted Beckham to give up his fast and furious ways and hire a professional driver. Beckham thought long hard about this. He had a garage filled with supercars that could go 200 miles per hour. The adrenaline from going too fast, that was forever in his DNA. But after all, it was bigger than himself. He didn't have much choice. He was honestly risking more than his own life out there. And what type of role model would he be if he didn't learn from his mistakes? So he looked at this and honestly, he took it as a blessing. Everybody just wanted to see him become a better person and he realized that. So Beckham looked at this as an opportunity to inspire each and every one of his fans and he agreed his lawyer's terms. Hired a professional Hoover. And nowadays, whenever you see that Rolls Royce or Bentley pulling up in his Beverly Hills neighborhood, he's in the backseat. But at least he's alive and can continue inspiring the world. It's not all about the cars, it's about what you do with them. And every car in the garage should inspire you to become the best version of your own self. Thanks for watching!